Alright guys, the blood moon is once again approaching and you know what that means. What's a blood moon? In ancient pony legend, it meant the old gods were at war, spilling each other's blood across the sky. It was a time of chaos, celebration, and sacrifice. That's pretty metal. But now we know it's actually just Princess Luna's period. Oh. Gross. It sure is, and that's why we still hold the traditional celebrations, to honor the old gods and distract ourselves from the thought of Luna's hemorrhaging vagina. Exactly. I saw it in person one time, and I sure as fuck never want to think about that again, so that's why this year our school will be the site of Ponyville's Cabaline Carnea, a night of dancing, indulgence, and fornication. The last one's not required, but it is extra credit. I could use some extra credit. I'm down. All right, guys, let's light the pyres. You know, I'm just a yak, so what the fuck do I know, right? But this sounds like some devil worship shit. Uh, maybe, uh, don't worry about it. It's just a dance. Uh, wanna go with me? Oh, I mean, I I'd love to, but... Uh, hey, you heard Twilight. No pressure on the fornication. Yeah, sure, just... If anyone tries to make me drink any bodily fluids, I'm out. No, that only happens at the faculty after party. Hey, Rory, you're the best pony, right? I mean, I don't like to brag about it, but... You know. Teach me, senpai. Teach you what? I'm going to the dance. How do I not humiliate myself? Darling, family doo da just be yourself. It'll be fine. With a date. Oh, God, no, you can't be yourself. I know! All right, I can teach you, but you must know. Being fabulous and graceful is not an endeavor to be undertaken lightly. Look at how... Fucking gorgeous I am. Do you have any idea how much agony I have to endure to maintain this? No carbs, intermittent fasting, cardio every day, hot yoga twice a week, diet pills, two hours of hair and makeup every morning. I've seen you inhale a tub of ice cream like at least once a week. Shut up! Anyway, the first thing you need to learn is how to exchange pleasantries. That sounds nice. It's a trick! They are the exact opposite of pleasant. It's a form of social masochism in which we all torment each other by talking about our families, our lives, politics, and other shit nobody actually cares about. Here, take these. What are they? Adderall. It'll suppress your appetite, speed up your metabolism and make you more conversational. I don't do drugs. No, 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 it's not drugs, it's medication. It's drugs. Well, yeah, but these ones are good for you because you won't go to jail. I think you're missing my point. Eat these. Why? Because being fabulous means being in shape and staying thin means only eating foods that taste like a sweaty scrotum. Get used to it. I don't know about that, dude. Brussels sprouts give me mad gas. Don't let them! That's another part of being fabulous. You can never fart. Ever! That's not biologically possible. Sassy Saddles is 90% silicone by volume. That shouldn't be biologically possible, but it is because she has the will to be fabulous. You're insane. Listen, you fucking darling, there is no half-assing fabulosity. Either get hard or go home. What's going on? Why are we in, like, a void? What, where are those dresses coming from? Don't worry, just let it happen. Listen to my fabulous bullshit. All right, the next part of being fabulous is learning how to dance. So there are two dances at the Carnia. The Pony Cotillion, which was traditionally an invocation of the Avatar near Lathotep to broker peace between the warring gods, and the Pony Prance. What's that one for? It's just for fun. Awesome, I love dancing. No, this is your chance to impress your date. Don't enjoy it. Be vigilant. Now you need to learn how to bake. Why? Because being fabulous means being good waifu material. I'm like 15. I'm not really thinking about- That's when we marry him off down here on the farm. Why aren't you married then? I run too fast and I kick too hard. I'm never gonna get married. That would be dumb. Oh, wait, that wasn't flour, that was a kilo of cocaine! You must feel awesome right now. Look! She's dancing! I stayed up all night practicing. Who knew sleep was a disease you could cure with drugs? This is brilliant, Yona. What do you do if somebody starts talking? Yeah, I wouldn't give me the time of day But if my occupation was a star in a constellation well, We could get together in the Milky Way Dude, 
I think I just became fabulous. Bruh, I felt it. You are so ready for this shit. <laughs> All right, you degenerates, let's get this carne started and burn this bitch to the ground. Where the hell is Yona? I haven't seen her in like a week. So, what do you think? Uh... Fucking gay! So, why were you acting like a completely different person? Why would anyone like me for who I am? I'm loud, I speak in broken English, I'm all big and hairy. You couldn't find my cooch if you wanted to. Sometimes I can't. Masturbating isn't much fun when you gotta go on a safari to find your junk. Dude, I like all those things about you. You're unique. This is a fetish thing, isn't it? God. Damn it, now I get it. You're into hairy chicks, aren't you? Do you have so little faith in your merits as a person that that's the only way you can buy someone being attracted to you? You're a good friend. You're the most emotionally mature out of all of us, and you don't fear the ever-present tendrils of death which constantly seek to tear you from this mortal coil. I admire you. You didn't answer the question. Yeah, okay, fine. I gotta think for hairy chicks. So what? It doesn't discount everything else I just said. All relationships begin with physical attraction, but that's healthy as long as it's not the defining factor. Man, this shit freaks me out. We're still just kids. Being a teenager is fucking terrifying. I'm like a Big baby with a rock hard dick. Yeah, and I don't have enough practice at life to recognize stupid shit until after I do it. Isn't that why adults say we're supposed to listen to them? Well, they're full of shit. Won't make that mistake again. Sounds about right to me. Hey, Yona, sorry my friends brainwashed you. Have a trophy. I took drugs, freaked out, and broke everything. That deserves, like, the opposite of a trophy. I mean, that's the whole point of the party. But you learned it's okay to be yourself. No thanks to you! Yeah, my bad on that one. That's it? Just, oops. Sorry. Dude, you just lived like I do for a week. I'm a crazy person. You ask a crazy person, they'll tell you crazy shit. All right, I'll give you that, but... What about you assholes? What's your excuse? I got excited. I just do whatever they tell me. Apples. So what, I get a trophy for existing, basically? Yep. Then shouldn't everyone else? We give out a lot of trophies. If everyone gets a trophy, then the trophy isn't worth anything. Also, that's a huge waste of resources. You could take all that metal and build like a car or something. Ponies don't have cars. Because you make too many trophies. Whoa. Dear Princess Celestia, today I learned that feeling good about who you are is important, but Cars are way better. Self-esteem may get you laid sometimes, but having a cool car makes it way easier. So let's stop making so many trophies because I really want a car. Probably like a lowrider with some hydraulics in it. That shit would be dope. Your faithful student and soon-to-be Princess Supreme, MC Twilight Renee Sparkle, Esquire. What the fuck is she talking about? What's going on? Nothing. She's stoned everyone i know wants to